Yep. Key data. Okay. Um, that's like password yep, yep. What is good, YouTube and friends? And you are here chilling with real Satoshi Aoki. On today's episode, it's gonna be a little bit of a different one today, a bit of a lifestyle one, but it is related to crypto. I'm gonna be getting a cryptocurrency related tattoo today. So make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end of the video to see it. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to go into the tattoo studio to do any time lapses or anything like that or show you the process of getting the tattoo because it is times of COVID and my girlfriend was not able to come with me. Sorry, my wife was not able to come with me to actually film that. And also the lovely gentleman doing the tattoo, he goes by the name of Luke Jinx. So if you ever are in the beautiful town of London here and you do want a tattoo, he is really awesome. I've gotten a tattoo from him before. That's the one right there, okay. Pretty cool, right, Mandala? And he's gonna be doing another one for me on that same arm, all right? He's gonna be cryptocurrency related, so do stay tuned. And I'm gonna be getting it, hopefully, here, okay? So before we do get into that, though, I do have some spare moments before I do go in and start the process of getting that tattoo. It's gonna be about three or four hours long, and then after that, we're gonna grab some vegan food, which is gonna really be awesome, awesome, awesome. So. Wish me luck, I'm gonna go in, get the tattoo, and then once I'm done, grab that vegan food. I'm actually gonna be talking to you about my top three um, cryptocurrency picks, not just altcoins, but top three cryptocurrency picks for 2020, and just in general, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So stay tuned, and let's hope this tattoo all goes well. Cheers, guys. Breakfast on the bike. Got my oat milk latte cafe there, and I think this is like a little brioche sandwich. It doesn't look great, but hopefully it tastes all right. I gotta say, for four pounds fifty, this is not what I was hoping for. I mean, it's essentially just three Linda McCartney sausages cut in half and stuck in a bit of whole grain bread and chucked in the toaster for about I don't know thirty seconds. And they charged four pound fifty for it. I mean, it's not ideal. I was expecting a sausage roll, so I am a little bit unpleased with that. But I had to get something in the gut before this tattoo, so I don't pass out. And it's really dead around here in Brick Lane as well. So uh, yeah, beggars can't be choosers. So FYI, for your information, it doesn't matter where you leave your bike locked up in London, and I'm sure a lot of other cities as well, it is not safe, okay? So I'm not really feeling great about locking up my Goku here today for a few hours, but I've got no choice because there's no room in the tattoo parlor and sometimes just got to take a leap of faith in life. And let's just hope that that isn't the fate of my bike. A lot of real emotions running through me right now. For those of you that didn't know, which is probably none of you, I actually used to live in Brick Lane. It was the first place I lived for a month in my five years of living in London. So it's a great place. There's a lot of great street art, which I absolutely love. I used to take a lot of photos here and just walk around the streets. It's just so much to do. So make sure if you are in London, do take a visit to Brick Lane. Okay, I'm literally gonna go in now. <sighs> Got an open trade XEM versus BTC. So it's still looking like it might break into an uptrend on the one hourly. And uh, we're looking at a $400 loss, which would be an 8% loss or a potential take profit of uh, 900 US dollars. Is the bike still here? Yes, it is. <laughs> nice one, guys. So, tattoo was done. Met up with Luke, and I'll show you some really quick pics now just so you can have a bit of a look at what it looked like in there. I'm absolutely stoked with the design. Here it is, here. So basically you gotta have it covered in plastic and renew it every four hours for three days and then after that when it gets dry you apply like this little cocoa butter moisturizing cream until it basically stops drying out. That's obviously just to preserve uh, the heat, well to aid the healing process, okay? Because obviously a lot of needles are going into the skin and that's just the uh, best way to do it. So I'm absolutely stoked with that and it actually ended up costing a lot less than what I thought. I actually withdrew 400 quid and to be honest I actually paid for that whole tattoo uh, with with cryptocurrency basically profit of cryptocurrency I've made in the last couple of months, which was about six grand Which is pretty nice off BZRX token and some trading as well. 
and I was able to use that money to basically pay for the tattoo. I was thinking it was going to cost around £400, ended up only costing £260 for that uh, piece of work there, and I was in there for about three hours. So, still a nice sunny day, going to grab the bike, so glad it's not stolen, and we're going to go grab some nice vegan food for lunch, because I am starving using the Crypto.com Jade Green card, okay? And then I'm going to talk to you about the three alts, or the three cryptocurrency coins that I am personally on. I'm just riding up Brick Lane in Shoreditch now, and we're going to Box Park. Hopefully it's open and we can get these juicy Vietnamese vegan buns. This is just absolutely optimum riding conditions, okay? If you do come to Brick Lane, there's a lot of curry houses and a lot of overpriced secondhand stores, and you'll also get some nice bagels on here as well. Quite a lot of homeless people as well, okay? But do give them your time, listen to them, and you can decide whether it's right or wrong to give them any money. All right, folks, so just a little unexpected stop at a lovely little, it's just indoor plants here, you do? I mean, yeah, 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 it's just house plants here. So it's called Triffids. And are you, is that your Instagram, Hoxton underscore yes. Triffids? Okay, so I will put the details for this place in the description of the video. I'll pop the Instagram in there and I'll also pop the contact details in there. But if you are somewhere in London, um, then make sure you do pop a visit. This is just down, we're in, what, this is Shoreditch Station. High Street, Overground Station. Shoreditch High Street Overground Station, and she has a gorgeous array of plant life here. We'll just have a little look. So, I mean, I'm definitely no plant. Little different back here. Okay. Yep. Mandanata, Pacha, Calafia, Sansevera. Yeah, Jepavira. amazing. Amazing, amazing, the amazing. The alocasia, not to be missed. Okay. And they all at great prices. Okay. Just for the people, people for the plants. Amazing. And you do deliveries in London as well, yeah? yeah? And how yeah. much do you charge in for delivery? It's so if you spend 50 quid, it's free. Yep. And other than that, it's sort of normal going rates, okay. depending on the size of the plant. Okay, yeah, yeah, fantastic, fantastic. Okay, really cool, really cool. So I'm probably actually gonna pick up a few plants here and probably get them delivered actually, because we do like to support the uh, the local business. I have bought plants from Patch before, but I know they're like a big overpriced kind of entity, aren't they? Well, a little yeah, bit. So they are, Put, putting it bluntly, they are, they are, aren't they? So it's much better. If you can folks, you know, it is a lot better just to support your local community and you know support the development of small business who are, you know, trying to do a really good thing for the economy and your society. So we'll have a look at a couple of plants and uh, we'll fill you in on the ones that we pick up. Whew, all right, so at Box Park now, I'm gonna go up and hopefully this vegan uh, Vietnamese bun place is open because it's delicious. Found a nice healthy spot to lock up the bike undercover. Man, I've literally been talking all day about crypto today. That plant lady, she actually accepts Bitcoin. She accepts Bitcoin payments from her plant shop, okay? Not that I would pay in Bitcoin anyway, but I'd use my crypto.com card and uh, yeah, she does do delivery. So, wow, it has been um, a whole lot of talking about crypto today and I am starving, so let's eat. All right, so if you can see there, I actually had to register for a Box Park Black card, okay? So I had to scan that QR code um, to basically, yeah, sign in for entry into Box Park in case any coronavirus cases do outbreak. Three different kinds of Vietnamese buns and it's three for 12 pounds, so four pounds each. So yeah, not cheap, but it's gonna fill me up. We might even get pizza after and a Guinness as well. So yeah, we're loving life at the moment. The number one crypto pick for 2020 and just in general is going to be obviously BTC. The main reasons why in my opinion, oh my lord, there are so many, I'm not going to go on about them all in this video. It is the number one cryptocurrency in terms of market cap. It has a nearly over 10 year history of successful price appreciation. And most importantly of all, it is 
truly decentralized versus all of the other cryptocurrencies or altcoins if you like. Satoshi Nakamoto is unknown. We don't know who he is. At least the general population do not. And that gives BTC the power. The fact that it is not centralized. It cannot be shut down in one particular place, in one particular country, and one particular person cannot be shut down. And the BTC movement specifically cannot be shut down. So that's why it holds 90% of my portfolio. As for the number two cryptocurrency in my portfolio, it has got to be none other than Ethereum, okay? The main reason behind this is simply because it is the number two in total market cap. And while some of you may believe we are in a DeFi bubble, whether we are or we're not, doesn't really matter. If you are invested in the right DeFi projects, you are going to make a lot of money in the incoming years. Whilst there are a lot of scams and potential exit scams, like that sushi scam that was just handled quite poorly on Binance, there are gonna be plenty of opportunities in the DeFi space for particular altcoins to get involved in. And of those successful altcoins, a lot of them, or some of them at least, are going to be running on the ERC20 Ethereum network, all right? which will make Ethereum an absolute winner in the next bull run specifically and possibly even go up higher in percentage versus BTC in the short term. That now brings us to number three, ladies and gentlemen, and that is going to be DOT or AKA Polkadot. Now, I don't have a huge holding of DOT token, but I do believe it holds great value due to the DeFi space and the applications that are or have been built on the Polkadot ecosystem and the ones that will continue to be built on the Polkadot ecosystem. So I don't know a whole lot about Polkadot at the moment. I know a little bit and I am gonna learn a little bit more and make a detailed video about Polkadot in the coming weeks or maybe months. But what I do know so far is that it's parachain technology essentially allows multiple blockchains to communicate with each other, creating a really nice interoperability, which is extremely important for scalability, okay? Something that bothers me a little bit about Ethereum is that the announcement of Ethereum 2.0 is a little bit vague. It's not really too transparent. There's not a lot of information about when Ethereum 2.0 is coming around. And even when it does, how scalable is it going to be? Is it going to be too tricky to make Ethereum more scalable than what it is? So there are some restriction on the scalability of Ethereum, like Bitcoin and some other cryptocurrencies as well. It is slowed down by the simple fact that it can only operate at the moment on the one Ethereum blockchain. Polkadot aims to address this by allowing mul well, multiple blockchain communications and it's just a new innovation. Who knows if it's really going to pull through and work in the end of the day, but the idea behind what they're doing can mean that there could be potential for massive scalability and that can bring massive user adoption. I also like the fact that Polkadot has actually been around for about three years, years or so, don't quote me on that. They did have a proper ICO back in around 2017 and a lot of people were saying that potentially it wasn't going to come through but they accumulated a lot of money from investors and as soon as they've launched launched on CoinGecko coin market cap it's roughly sitting around number six in total market cap and it's got a pretty good circulating supply it's quite low and it's got a good 24-hour trading volume as well so Polkadot has got to be my pick number three and that's a little bit more specific to the year of 2020 rather than cryptocurrency on the whole but still with cryptocurrency on the whole I believe Polkadot is a great investment so BTC Ethereum for two and Polkadot for number three